Good morning, how you guys doing? Uh, today is a fully booked day. Uh, I think we got up at around 7.30 and then I went through all my YouTube stuff and comments and and uh, a lot of people want me to change my big channel a little bit. Oh, got touched on the head by an angel. And uh, so I'm asking people to uh, give me feedback on that. And uh, there are definitely some really uh, meaningful comments on there trying to help me move my channel along other people want me to leave it the way it is again you can't please everybody but uh i, would, I personally would like a change a little bit and maybe we'll do a couple little changes to start and then work from there going forward uh if any of you guys remember the the, the tv show dirty jobs with mike rowe i believe is his name uh i loved that style of show where he had about three camera guys and they were often in the video or the show and uh, but I'm not a journalist so it's hard for me to say okay we're gonna be going here uh, these are the things I need to say you know I can't I don't write like that I just that's why I do what I do and that's how I do it is I just sit in the car and whatever comes to my head comes to my head and over time unfortunately I guess uh, I've got into this repetition where everything is is the same same sound effects same music and people have been asking me for months years whatever to change it up but uh you know i try to change it up for the whole veg veg and review and people lost their minds uh what one of the bonus things is people really enjoyed the fact that we changed it up and put cook and review in there which is completely different from the channel um I think one of the things I was also thinking about on Cook and Review is to take out like anything to do with KBD Productions TV, like the ding, 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 dings at the end, uh, the speed up part, just, just cut to the end, you know, let's start eating, comment, and then cut to us finished, and then that's it, no fast forward, uh, let, let me know in the comments below, let's get some discussion going on things that the, you would like to see change, improved on the big channel. Again, we can't please everybody, and we all know that. Uh, a lot of people say, I can't stand criticism. I love criticism. And so when people add the insult to the criticism because it's the internet and people have no filters and they just say, yeah, I don't like your opening music, you blah, 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 blah. And then it's just like, okay, well, that's now an insult instead of a constructive criticism. Uh, I love constructive criticism. I never delete it, remove it, or anything. I leave it on there because I try to learn from it. Sometimes I don't have time to learn from it because I'm a busy person doing vlogs for you guys every day and doing food reviews three, four times a week. So bear with me, let's work on this together and we'll make the KBD Productions TV channel great. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about what we were doing today. So uh, there's Mommy Domic and <laughs> say hi. Hi. All right, so mom's in it. You know my mom now. Uh, so I'm taking mom to the eye doctor. She already had one cataract surgery three weeks ago. Is it four weeks ago now? Almost yeah, so now she's going in for the second eye. So she's going to have bionic eyes. <laughs> bionic domic. That's what we're going to call her. And uh, so she, her vision's already amazing where she can you see without her glasses. Of course, one eye is good and one eye isn't. So, so wait, we'll wait for, I guess, another week after surgery today and find out uh, if she needs her glasses at all for everyday use except for reading. She can't read really fine print right now, so she has to have her glasses on. And there's the Tinkers. Tinker Bell. Tinker. I need new shoes, guys. Check that out. That's how lazy I am. I still wear the same boots from like three years ago, four years ago, 10 years ago maybe. Anyway, let's get going. Made it to Thornhill at the eye clinic. We already went up, signed mom in, and she's under the knife as we speak. So uh, I was sitting upstairs just going through stuff on my phone, and uh, I was kind of thinking of doing a little walk around, getting something to eat. So today, I'm not sure if I showed you, but I'm wearing my track pants or sweatpants, whatever you want to call them. 
my Muskoka Bearwear ones. And I just feel kind of uncomfortable <laughs> wearing them with boots. I, 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 I don't even like wearing them outside mainly. Like at the cottage is great, but my I've got two really good pairs of jeans that I like to wear, super comfortable. I've worn them just the right amount of times that they feel super good. So I put one into the laundry hamper, put the brand new ones on yesterday, which I spilt the milkshake on, and now both of them are dirty at the same time. So that's why I had to put these on at the last minute. We went out to that nice dinner and uh, had to wear these. Oh well, gotta do what you gotta do. Let's find some food. We are all finished, it is quarter to one in the afternoon. Uh, while my mom was doing eye surgery, she's fine by the way. Uh, I did a live show on, on you now from the car and then I actually went up into the procedure room. And then we went up to, uh, or sorry then, it's funny because people were asking my mom questions uh, during the live show. Whoa, it's a push. Uh oh. Okay, in All right, so we'll open the car for my mom. You're good? Dirty car, I know. Did you want to put your jacket on? Did you actually bring sunglasses or not? Oh, I'll get them. Let me grab my bag and then I can get that out of your way. To, uh, that you needed the purse for your sunglasses. Sorry, put my eyes closed. Oh, is that them? Yeah. Uh oh. We hooked, we hooked the camera Sorry. on. Don't hook my camera! Yeah. There's your glasses. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> Just one quick look, Mom. Ready? Do your, your impersonation of uh, Stevie Wonder. There you go. Hello. <laughs> it is 10 after 3. I've dropped my mom off. We actually went to my sister and Randall's house and uh, had lunch, had uh, grilled cheese and homemade carrot soup. Well done, Virginia. Very good soup, except I ate a bay leaf. So I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling later on. There's a guy on a bike, good for him, February, and he's on his 10 speed, his road bike. I'll show you. Nice, that makes me feel good. Anyway, so uh, heading home, like I said, went to my sister's house, had lunch, chatted about stuff. And then I went back to my mom's house, helped her change a couple uh, fluorescent bulbs that needed to be replaced in the basement. And uh, yeah, dropped off some of my accounting books, paperwork, whatever you want to call it. And uh, now I'm on my way home. I got to get home, work on the vlog as fast as possible from yesterday. Unfortunately, I think I shot a lot of footage and it's all on my laptop. So I'm going to have to uh, up that. I'll go down I'm blabbling, I'm, I'm blabbling. Anyway, so let's see how long it takes to get home. I forgot to show you when I was at my sister's house, uh, my niece just came back from like six weeks in Australia and brought me back jerky Hope you guys can see that. So it's kangaroo, emu, and crocodile jerky. You get to try all three. So what do you think about that? What kind of a food review do you think that'll be? The Aussie review. The jerky Aussie review. Craziness. All right, so I still got like a half an hour to go, get to my house, edit, then drive to Paul's house, pick him up, go to see, the tea party in Richmond Hill, uh, a, uh, a band
band I've never seen in concert. But today's the day. So I got home a couple hours ago. It is 6.30 right now. I got a hoot down to, to Paul's house. Sonny wanted to say hi. Maybe not. And Carol's making dinner and she's got like pizza. What are you making? Soup. I'm making anything. I'm just putting away my mess. Putting away soup. Carol made pizza. three pizzas with fresh bacon. Ben's, mm. Ben's having chicken on his. Watching TV. I bought her this thing and just sucks because she has a... I, I can't do it with my wrist. I cannot put... All oh, right. It's, it's so hands. difficult because of the springs or whatever. All right. Off to Paul's. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I'm on. How you doing? Good. So, you know of the tea party, but you've never seen them in concert. Correct. Right. So, I have to go through my emails again just to find out who sent it to me. And it was Gene and John, I believe. And I'm, I'm the post, uh, I guess the letter, the return address said John was the person's name. And then in the Christmas card that we got, they said, give the shout out to Jeff Oliver from Gojo Media from Australia, a gentleman I've known uh, through YouTube for five, six years now. And uh, so the, the shout out goes to him. Uh, so they bought the tickets, but uh, they want Jeff to have the shout out. So nice. this is in honor of, of Jeff. And uh, so thank you very much for this thank you. little treat. <laughs> and uh, I'll be, it'll be interested to know if I can get some footage there. I'll try and sneak some things, but obviously I won't be able to videotape all the songs and then put them up on YouTube. That's a no-no. That is not good. So this is the town of Richmond Hill. Um, Paul and I went to high school near here yes, at Bayview correct. Secondary School. And we used to come to a certain restaurant here once in a while for lunch. Yeah, uh, Copperfields. Copperfields, holy. Anyway, this is the Richmond Center. Richmond Center for Performing Arts. That's my pot already. Paul, what do you want? Uh, two sea muscle, please. Nice. Yeah, you can. That's not gonna run me. Well, what can I get for you? Singles or doubles? Are you a bro? Yep. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. A lot of rock and roll looking people here. Three. Kind of like me. The waiting area. We've got t-shirts. 30 bucks for a t-shirt. Front, back, 40 bucks. Nice. We are on the balcony. That's our ticket. Paul's having a hard time reading that. Nice. I got an arm extension. He needs arm extension or glasses? Glasses yeah, are cheaper. I prefer an arm extension. Really? Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? No. Oh. Whoa! I missed the step! Yeah. I missed the step! You can't have one beer. Just... No. no, one beers. Two beers, not one beer. Hello. Thank you, sir. Last row towards the middle. Last row towards the middle. Hello. Where are we going? We're over there? Yep, you guys are over there. Can we walk behind? I don't know, can you? Yeah, of course you can. Go for it. Thank you. Uh, 
14. That says 15. We have 15 and 16. Okay, well that's these two. Is this these are the seats. Oh, yeah. Probably. It's good that we're sort of on an end because... Uh, I bet that person over there looks like uh, President Lincoln's going to get shot in the back of the head. Oh, yeah. Just finished intermission. Very, very long. 10 minute line up to the washroom. Now we're going in for another hour, hour and a half set. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen return to your seat or we'll tase you.
pleasure. Thank you so much. Stuart wants me to tell you that you should all come to the jam for it. Thank you so much, we love it. Well, that concert was really well done. I, I found them to be, there's, there's a few, they said they have like 30 more shows to go. Uh, and I found them extremely tight. Like, the, the, the camaraderie, I guess, between the three. They've been playing together for 20 years. But they, they didn't do for seven. That's true. And so this is like their 20th anniversary reunion. I'm not sure how, how long they've played with each other in the last little bit. But they were tight. <laughs> really, really well done. I couldn't keep my eyes off the drummer because he was just like so, so enthusiastic. <laughs> I just remember, like, from the team, I remember their debut album. Right. The last song they played was on that album. Oh, okay. So that was like a smash hit that sort of put them on the, uh, the billboards. Right. And, uh, I guess that would have been around 97. I thought it was earlier than that. He, he played the lead guitarist and singer of the of the group of the three of them. He played so many different guitars throughout the night, yes. from double neck guitars, a six string, twelve string, uh, a, uh, an electric sitar. No, that wasn't. A wasn't sitar, an electric sitar. It was an electric something like East Indian type. It was an electric ukulele. A ukulele. It was a powerful ukulele with subsonic sounds. <laughs> and then he and then he like did bongos at one point, or I'm not sure what that type of drum is called, but it's not it's a single type That's of That's like a bongo, like a, a bongo, yeah. I guess it's called. But uh, and then they had a, another instrument that looked like a big typewriter. I don't know and then, what and that then he was. was like pulling it in and out from the yeah, back almost, and then playing it. It was almost like an accordion. It was like an accordion, but it was different. But it looked like a typewriter. It was stationary. Yeah, it was, it was moving, on a box. Like a moving air, like an yes. accordion. So he had, he had to move air in and out of it, plus play stuff on the on this with his fingers. So very very good concert. What did you think, Paul? One to ten. What would you rate it? Uh, While we're here. Let's see. Give it like a seven. Yeah. Wouldn't be like, like the went, most ultimate concert I've ever seen. I, I found it had a bit of a slow start. Like if people weren't into the yeah. crowd, by the end it was people but were again, into I don't, it. And I'm also not sure how many concerts they've done up to this point because he just say they were still trying to work out bugs because yeah. they had an issue at the beginning. And the of thing the is, concert. it's hard when you don't know. Like I, w I was a fan of the early T pilot, so I, d I did know quite a few songs, but there was a lot of songs I didn't know in there. Yeah. And I and I I feel like there was a big hiatus in in the band that uh, was a big yeah, well, seven, years. seven years, but it seemed longer. Yeah. Than, like I, I would I would have gone like if I was guessing, I'd say I haven't heard them for fifteen, right, like, sixteen yeah. years, because they were big in the beginning. And, anyway, oh, hey, good band. Thank you very much for the tickets, and we'll see you tomorrow.